That's me. Give me that. That's a lurk right there. Let's get back in this game. Let's get back in this game. Let's show him that it was luck. Let's show him that this was all luck. Let's get back. In this video, I got one of my go-to, probably one of my top three favorite formations that I don't see enough people using is the gun tight open. Now, every play out of this formation is actually pretty valid. You can use almost every play uh, and get some pretty good results. But these are going to be my main go-tos that we're going to scheme out of. It's going to be bench, inside zone, bench return, and vertical HB black, uh, burst. And sometimes I will mix in the screen. But for the most part, it's going to be these four right here. So let's jump into the practice field and show you all how we scheme this formation. All right, real quick, I do want to mention the hash mark. It does matter, but the good thing is all the plays that we run, it's going to be the same. So if I'm on the right hash, I want the running back on the right side of me. If I'm on the left hash, I want the running back on the left side of me. The play that I'm going to start off with is going to be the verticals HB because this is what brought me to this formation. It's kind of like a money play, not, not so much a one play touchdown, but it, it's one of those plays that could just beat everything multiple ways. Um, that's why I consider it a money play. Uh, and the next thing I want to mention is this form or not this formation, but this scheme does work a thousand times better. If you have a quarterback with a good release, quick release, like um, Aaron Rodgers, Hertz, or uh, what's his name from the Jaguars? I always forget his Lawrence because they got gunslinger or just any quarterback with a good release in general. Uh, Brock Purdy is the downfall for the 49ers. He's the only thing that's not putting them at that number one spot when it comes to best team in Madden. But uh, let's go ahead and start off with the play uh, verticals HB. What you're going to do is motion over the outside wide receiver, put Y on a streak, put A on a streak, and you're running back on a swing route. The first two reads are going to be Y and A. A lot of times A will get open, uh, especially against cover three and cover four, for like the first seven to ten yards. After that, X and B will open up. X gets open against almost everything in the middle of the field. And then you have the check down with the running back. The slap on route is going to be B towards the corner. You wouldn't expect it to beat cover three or cover four because there should be a deep, blue, a deep blue play in that. But Kittle does a good job of taking that a little further down the field to where you can get a sideline catch with B. This is what brought me to this formation, though. Again, this works a thousand times better with a, a fast release quarterback. But you can get that pass off right there against cover three, cover four. And if you're going against cover two, you can actually bomb cover two with that uh, specific route by Debo. Um, but let me show you the go to actually is going to be X in the middle of the field. Now, it is going to be something you have to, you know, worry about the user. But if they're not playing in the middle of the field, he'll get open every single time right there for a nice, you know, 20 to 15 yard game. If you can rack catch it, probably something bigger. Um, but that's basically it for this um, this play right here. And you can do different setups, though. Like you don't have to put Y on a streak. What you can do is put them on a drag and you can also cross them with the running back like this. X and B will still get open the same way, but now you have something to keep the user in the middle of the field. So like right there, you can still hit X and you could probably turn this into something big. Um, but the reason I like to put Y on the streak is just like, if they are a user in that side, that'll keep the user going straight. And on top of that, it just makes the safeties drop back and drop back and drop back. But that's basically gonna be everything about that play. Let's go ahead and jump into a couple of others. All right, the next play we're gonna talk about is gonna be the play bench. Now we're gonna make it look the same as the last play we just ran, but there's also gonna be a different setup as well. You're gonna also motion over the outside wide receiver. We're gonna put them on a zig, put B on a streak, and then you can kind of do whatever you want with Y and RB. Um, I do like to put Y on a zig just in case it is man coverage. I got two check downs with both zig routes. And then I also like to put my running back on a curl and I smart route that curl route. So he goes about to the first down mark and then he's going to turn around. But there's different things you can do. You can just put him on an in route um, and you can keep Y on a streak or keep him on the corner route. Uh, again, it's just kind of be it's, it's whatever you prefer, whatever the defense is giving you. But this is the main go to right here. One, because the running back makes the, the user stay true to the middle of the field and then it kind of gives you the high low look. Um, I do like to smart route the corner route to make it go a little bit deeper just to get a little bit more separation between the zig and the corner. But for the most part, your read right here is going to be Kittle to the corner right here. Just like that, but just a, Brock Purdy is killing me, bro. I, I don't use the 49ers a lot, um, and it's mainly because Brock Purdy, like, he is terrible the way he passes the ball. Um, I know if I got some practice with him, I could probably get him to throw a little bit better. Um, but it, it is it is difficult to use the 49ers because of him. Let's go ahead and show you a give you a good look of what this should look like. There you go. We got a nice pass right there. Um, but that's basically just your high low corner read. Um, very OP, very hard to stop. We'll beat all zone coverages. And then you have some um 
some routes out there the beat to beat man coverage now the other way we like to set this up is actually motioning out the wide receiver put him on a streak put b on a streak put the running back on a swing route so this is a double corner setup very hard to stop now let me explain why double corner routes if you have the right formation are difficult to stop one you have the high low read on the right side the short the short side of the field you do need you know a, a shallow route and a deep route so we got the corner we got the swing route now on the left side you don't need the shallow route because the flat doesn't register that the corner route is as deep as it's going so a lot of times they'll just leave the corner alone so let me just show you what this looks like if we go to the corner route on the left side you can see that the uh the flat is nowhere near there so that will make it very difficult to stop and uh, one thing that they will start doing is playing their zone drops real deep and when that happens is the swing route will get open a lot and even when they do play it deep like a lot of times like i said it's just hard for them to register that there's actually a route going out there because the corner is starting damn near on the hash mark but if they start playing deep with their routes just hit your outside like this and if you got jukebox you can easily turn this into something big again that's if they're playing their zone drops pretty deep but that's the other way we like to run bench let's jump into another play all right now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the play bench return this is probably my favorite play out of the whole scheme because it's a little bit different and it makes your opponent think you're going to the outside but then it's just a complete switch up and honestly this is the play that gives me the most one play touchdowns what you're going to do is motion over the outside wide receiver put them on a streak put your running back on the in route that's basically it this is my go-to third down play because it will throw off your opponent big time um so basically y and x are clearing out for the tight end a and then rb your running back is clearing out for the outside wide receiver um those are going to be your two go-to's but your first read is going to be the running back maybe x and then y does a really good job of beating man coverage and so does b and a so this is like one of those plays that could just beat everything and on top of that, this is actually the play that gives me the the most one play touchdowns. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'll see if I can get it off right here. Um, but what I mean is when I catch the ball with A, because that's going to be the go-to, it's going to be wide open in the middle of the field. A lot of times what will happen, I'll catch it and I'll journal to the outside. So basically to the right side. And I will just beat both safeties. And a lot of times it will turn into a one play touchdown. Let's see if we can get it all for y'all right here. Um, but once he makes that cut, you just throw this ball. And this is about what I'm talking about. You journal to the outside. And see, like, I just I wasn't even trying to be planned or anything like that. That's just how often it happens. Um, and you'll get a one-play touchdown with a tight end like that. But let's say they're sending heat. Um, your go-to is actually going to be B right here. And this is why we put RB on the in route. I wouldn't put them on any other route. It's specifically to clear for B. So what will happen is right here, you'll get once he makes that cut, uh, a lot of times the person that made the tackle right there will be the user, and their first initial move it will either follow the streak by x or go ahead and try to stop rb um this is why this is probably the best play out of this whole scheme this is definitely um my go-to right here and i wouldn't change up anything else i wouldn't you can maybe put y on a streak but i again i like the corner route but you can you know hit them oh i didn't even mean to throw the b right there i was actually trying to throw the y uh, but a lot of times you can catch y on a streak um in that little but in between the the vert hook and the safety over the top but Again, I would just leave everything the way it is, the way we ran it the first time like this, because the go-to is definitely going to be A. Like, if you need yardage on a third and long, this is what I'm going to right here. And again, you can just jurtle out and a lot of times turn it into a one-play touchdown. Again, you can see how consistent it is. I almost got it again. But that is definitely the go-to. And from here, let's go ahead and talk about the inside zone. Now, you can run the inside zone as a default. You can run it like this. I would double team the most outside guy that you're going to be going towards and you can get some pretty good results but again y'all know and then there go cmc just being cmc but i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i like to run it y'all know y'all already know i'm a huge fan of the motion this time we're gonna motion the, the receiver on the outside on the opposite side and once he gets about where the left guard is and vice versa the right guard that's when you're gonna snap it and you're gonna see he's gonna pick up the outside guy so that leaves the left tackle free to block whoever else he wants and you can get a lot more yardage like that i rather run it like that than run it at default um it just works that much better so if you don't motion your left tackle will pick up the defensive end like this just let's just show you what i'm talking about um but if you do motion the left tackle will go be able to block somebody else a lot of times he'll probably double team the dt and then go move to a linebacker but now you're going to see debo oh we didn't even audible to the go ahead and audible real quick 
But what you're going to see happens is whoever I'm motioning over will actually pick up the defensive end. Um, and then that'll leave the left tackle to go help on something else. But right here, this is what it looks like. Once he passes, you're going to be able to just read him. And you see, look at my left tackle, look, my left tackle as a lead block up there. That's when you're turning into bigger yardage. Um, but from here, we're going to go ahead and jump into some head-to-head. -head, and then after that, we'll jump into the depth chart. I know I did have a member ask to use the 49ers, so they did jump the line. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Shout out to all the members. I think we're up to like 15 now. But let's jump into the gameplay. Yep. Another kick return on me. <laughs> I got to start locking in on kick returns. All right, we got game one. As y'all can see, we got kick returned on like usual. Um, I always get scored on like that. I'm going to go ahead and start it off with the inside zone. I'm going to motion over. Once he gets about to right where the guard's at, we're going to call hut. Oh, good blocks. Oh, good blocks. Yup. Yup. Y'all shouldn't have told me to use the 49ers. Uh, uh, for defense. Now we're going to run to one of the go-tos. Um, if it's cover two, we might have Ayuk here. It looks like it's actually man coverage. Oh, he picked it up perfect. But, but Christian McCaffrey has playmaker. Oh, I don't know if we get that. It's on me. I should have lobbed that over. Perfect start to the game. Why are my guys... Okay. So we started off 14-0. That was a terrible pass by me and also Brock Purdy. Um, I should have left that a little bit further. But it's all good. Okay, now we're set up. We got all the right people in. Um, I hope he does run man coverage so I can show y'all that this will bomb man coverage. This might be man coverage, okay. So what we're gonna do is actually just put a zig out there. Just in case. But this will oh that sneed. Oh my god, I am playing terrible. Why are my players running so slow? I swear, my I don't know. But my players are running super slow. Okay, I'm starting off terrible. He's probably running that man coverage. We're gonna run this. Try to get that wheel that wheel route action. We're lobbing that. We're lobbing that. Yep, give me it. And this is why we this is why we do the gameplay. This is why it's important for y'all to watch the game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd that guy come from? This is why it's important to watch the gameplay because we add in stuff like that that you don't see in the practice field. We oh, good pickup. Oh, my God. I am. Wow. We are starting off terrible. I am in awe right now. That's me. Give me that. That's a lurk right there. Let's get back in this game. Let's get back in this game. Let's show him that it was luck. Let's show him that this was all luck. Let's get back. I like this. I'm not mad at this. Look. I got a tight end. I'm there. I'm there. Lurk. Let me get that back. Let me. We got to show them that this was all luck. He was lucky. That 19 to 0 was lucky. If it is man coverage. I'm going to be looking for uh, Gray or McCaffrey. You know what? Yeah, I'm going for McCaffrey right here. Check down. Abuse that jukebox. Yes, sir. This is another way you can run this uh this uh specific play. This is basically the play out of Gun Bunch tight end right here. The tight end will be on the line, but he will run that same route. If he plays the running back, we're gonna go for the zig right here. Okay, we got the tight end. We got the tight end. That's the last resort on that play. Um, and it will always beat man coverage. Trying to quick snap us now. We're there. We're there. Lurker. Give me that. We baited it again. We're there. Comeback is real. Comeback is real. We do get ball, so we're just going to take our three right here. If I can make it, I'm terrible at field goals. But yeah, let's just be safe. We got to come back. It was 19 0, 19 15, and we get ball, so we're good. We should be good right here. All right, he does have time to get something, but he can also mess up. Trying to go for something he shouldn't. We're there. That's picks. Yep. And he's going to mess up before going into the half. I should have went down. I should have went down. I could have got another field goal. That's okay. That's okay. We got it. We got the stop. My superstar left tackle just got blown up. The best left tackle in the game got blown up. That is insane. By a mediocre defensive end. Like how? Like I understand. Okay, I shouldn't have caught that honestly, but I'm gonna take it. I understand. Um, what's I was I wasn't even on, holding the controller. I had to pick it up. I understand what's then Chris Jones getting in the way he did right there, but that defensive end. I mean, I guess he's mad, and you gotta take the good with the bad. Uh, it is what it is. 
I like this better. Oh, that's me. I got Kittle. I got Kittle. No. Can we catch up to him? Oh, that's on me. That's a user mistake right there. I seen Kittle go on that street. And he probably peeped me playing the safety, and that's where he took advantage of it. He's got nobody on Debo. I don't know if he realizes that. He's got nobody on Debo. I don't know if he realizes that. We're taking advantage of that. I just need y'all to get good blocks. That's it. I got Christian McCaffrey. He's playing deep with his zones. Playing deep with his zones. I'm taking that all day. There's no reason not to. I got to watch Kittle on a streak. Ooh, I like that play. We're there. Oh, what a lurk. That's why you keep him in the game. 100% right there. Let's see if we got him to drop his zone drops. If not, this is a touchdown. Or if he dropped his zone drops a little bit lower, we got a touchdown with X. But we're always going to keep our check downs with Y and RB. He went to man coverage. This could still beat man coverage. Let's see. So the inside lead. Yes, sir. And, I mean, I'll tell you, if... You had Aaron Rodgers right there. That pass would have been there in like an instant. But still we're able to beat it with man coverage. But that does require a wide, a wide receiver with good route running. All right, now we're going to go ahead and jump into the depth chart. There is a couple of things we do mess with the offense. So we all we will show you the offense. Um, again, Brock Purdy, like, it doesn't matter which quarterback you use. Obviously he has a couple of abilities. But the downfall is just the release. And none of them have good throw power. I prefer quarterbacks with at least 90 but he still gets the job done. Not a terrible quarterback. Obviously, you got CMC. Now, wide receiver, just make sure you're getting some reps in with Danny Gray. He's the guy, the go-to guy for money plays. Um, I know we don't throw a lot of deep money plays with this scheme we just ran. But if I'm running other money plays, he's definitely the go-to uh, tight end. You obviously got George Kittle. The only thing that I do on offensive line is the right guard. They don't have a good right guard, so I put in the backup center which is still a valid center. You can see right here is 74-74. So it doesn't really matter which one you use, um, but just make sure you sub them in. You know, you go from 68 overall to 72, kind of a big jump. Uh, so you'd rather just have that guy in. Defense, um, let's go to the DBs. Nothing too crazy with the, the D-line and linebackers. Y'all already know who they are. This is how I run my DBs. These are going to be one and two. These are going to be my slots right here, three and four. Um, safety, we do use Thomas, 92 speed. And then we also use um, Odom, 91 speed, six foot one. I can definitely ball hawk with these two guys. And then sub, this is one of the only teams where you're going to actually have the linebacker. The other, other, the other team, I think, is the Ravens. Um, he's got all of the abilities you want. Lurk, outmatch, mid zone KO, complete baller, six foot three. Obviously, not the greatest speed, but we can work with it. And then you gotta, you gotta use him. I mean, the change of direction, 80. Not the greatest, but still a ball hawk and just a complete baller. And both of them are really good at helping and stopping the run. Again, make sure you do put in your three and four cornerback at one and two at the slot position. So you make sure that they actually play slot. 90 speed, not bad. And they're both six foot. They're going to do what I need them to do. The main focus is going to be the safeties and the sub linebackers. But that's it uh, for the depth chart. And that's going to be it for the video.